poster art from rockerablemagazine.com. Here, Marty Monti, and for the second time in Milan for his uh, solo tour of uh, Ole Was album. Mark, all of us know that your success started in 1997 with Creed. So you founded out the bridge with the Miles Kennedy, and now here we are for your new solo project. Which uh, are the most sensible changes uh, from your beginning in music business until now? Uh, well, it's changed a lot. You know, the, the business itself has changed a lot. The, uh, the internet kind of dropped a bomb on the whole, changed everything. Uh, when we first came out, uh, people bought records, you know, and people, people came to concerts. And uh, people are still coming to concerts to buy records, but it's just different. People are getting them from the internet. People, I, think, I think our exposure is much better worldwide now. That's changed a bunch. Uh, when we first started, we were just an American band. Now, internationally, uh, you, get your, you get your songs out there much better. When did you decide that a solo project? Uh, well, I've been a songwriter since I was a kid, and I've got ideas I never think would ever see the light of day unless I recorded them. I just decided I was going to do it on the side and just throw it on the internet, but once we uh, uh, once we got the record done, I decided, you know, we got to really put everything we got to run it. But I had three months where Miles was going to go out and slash, so I figured that'd be a good time to go get the studio. Which is the artist uh, who influenced you most of all, and the one who nowadays uh, does inspire you? Uh, well, nowadays inspired on, on guitar, um, Derek Trucks. He's, uh, he's my favorite current guitar player. Much different style than I play, obviously, but uh, I love this, this playing. Um, growing up, uh, Metallica was my favorite band first. Uh, something Frost, and, uh, just their doom, doomy chord progressions and everything. I just, I just tried to find the heaviest, darkest, and dirtiest stuff I could find. I got into Slayer, and uh, from there, every, everything from Testament, from the to you know, Art Sound. Art Sound, yeah. You are uh, an uh, all-rounded artist and composer. You play very good uh, solos, amazing main riffs, and excellent arpeggios. What is your next steps in your playing technique development? Um, well, I try and tackle it. Um, I'll, I'll try and tackle the technique at a time. Um, and uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on uh, stripping it down to two note string, uh, trying to get inventive with my pentatonic. Approach and, uh, and cutting out my diatonic approach and getting more. Um, you know, I'm, the older I get, I realize any any pentatonic note you hit sounds great. Uh, so I'm trying to get as good as I can at that. So you're working, so, so you're working on the on the sound. I'm working. I'm, I'm working on my approach to make um, to, to make my pentatonic playing more interesting. Uh, okay. And, and, uh, trying to develop some unique ways to approach it. We have seen an amazing video at the PRS factory with you and Eric trying to uh, and watching the, the, the making of uh, your guitars. What do you think those guitars have more uh, rather than the others one for your sound? Um, well, my guitars are just, uh, you know, they're, they're my f favorite guitar in the world. They've got, uh, first off, the neck. The neck is such an important part of the feel of the neck. I grew up on a guitar that was uh, that had that neck on it, and, that, and that's how you know when they sent me the first guitars, they were a little too round, so we, too big for for the neck. Too round, yeah. And uh, so we um, you know, we redid the neck. The pick the pickups were a little too bluesy and too muddy sounding, so we yeah. redid the pickups. Um, we uh, you know the PRS bodies were not as heavy as, as the how I'd like it, so we made it a heavy, big, heavy chunk of uh, rock machinery, so it's uh, we're not happy with it. Yeah. You just written and performed two new tracks, not included in all I was. Is this a preview of a new album, or a, mm, only bonus track for a special edition? Yeah, no, only the bonus tracks from this record. The uh, All that I got is one of the tracks, and that I think we're going to put on, uh, we're going to put out a DVD here pretty soon. We'll probably put that as a bonus track or release it online. Um, the other song, Gone, um, has got such a good response, we might hold off and put it out sometime in the future, maybe on the next record. But uh, the stuff 
the stuff that I've been trying to write for the next record has been even more aggressive than this this record. So we want to keep it real high energy and, and aggressive. Yeah. Can you tell three artists with who you like to play together in San Musso? Metallica. exciting concert that you performed and the one you have seen as a fan? Um, probably my favorite concert I've seen as a fan um, would probably be the um, best band I think I've ever seen live is Rage Against the Machine. Um, when I played with them and uh, gosh, I think we did a few shows with them, but uh, I got to watch from on stage uh, you know, right, right in front of about 80,000 people I got to yeah. watch from the stage. It was just, a great experience, um, but uh, playing playing wise, the best show we've played. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to pick. You know, we've had so many great shows, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to pick. Playing playing Wembley with Alter Bridge was one of our biggest achievements. Thanks for a lot for this interview, you. Mark. And would you want to say something else uh, to Rock Rebel Magazine readers? I know you're all Italian readers, right? So I'm Italian, I'm very proud of being Italian, and uh, Italy is one of my favorite places to play on earth. So we'll see you at the next show.